Heed my words, O champion. Many eons ago, here in the same soil where today your blood is spilled, the first contest of champions took place. It was fought in an arena made of rock and crystal. It was built by the hands of a peaceful race forced into slavery by the cruel being running that contest. But one day, among the lambs, a lion was born. His name was Aegon. From an early age, he desired above all to be a gladiator. He trained day and night in secret, dreaming of glory in the arena. Defying the strict code of non-violence of his race, Aegon entered the contest in disguise. That's where he met Cleo, a slave girl who tended to tired gladiators in between fights. Aegon had never seen such a lovely creature. Cleo was a dreamer. Her idealist mind was free from the shackles that bound her fragile body. Behind the twin suns of her eyes, Aegon could see a deep sense of compassion for all beings oppressed by their master. Inspired to become a better man, he vowed to win the contest for Cleo and use the prize to free their people. From that day forward, against all odds, Aegon fought his way through champions way above his league. He had no powers, no advanced technology, no cosmic weapons. All he needed to win was right there, watching him nervously from the edge of the arena. Until Aegon finally reached the title fight against the master of the contest himself. The master was an elder of the universe, bloated by years of feeding off the power of the ISO-8. Aegon had no chance against such a corrupted creature. The very existence of Aegon irritated the Master. It was a mockery to him that such a pathetic being would get so far in his contest. In a fit of rage, he plucked Aegon's arm from its side, as if looking for a hidden source of power in his mortal flesh. In desperation, Cleo rushed the arena to save her beloved. The Master flung her across the arena like an insect. A couple of seconds, that's all she bought Aegon. That's all he needed. It was all over. Aegon was the winner of the first contest of champions. But the price was too high. For his victory, Aegon was awarded a golden belt forged from the Isosphere itself. It was a weapon with the power to supercharge the wearer's innate abilities and extend their natural lifespan. But it could not bring her back. With the Master dead, all the slaves were freed. A mass exodus soon began. But the high priests of his people would not let Aegon come with them. In the eyes of their strict culture, his choice of a violent life had made him a pariah. In anger, Aegon instinctively activated the belt's cosmic powers for the first time. It was an energy manifestation of his severed limb, summoned by his fury. With that power, Aegon could have forced them to take him. He could have forcibly become their king if he so wished. But then, he remembered had lost an important part of himself in the contest, and no amount of power could make him whole. Aegon had chosen the life of a warrior, and that had changed him. He decided to stay behind in the battle realm, watching from a distance as contests would come and go, an immortal gladiator with no desire to ever enter the arena again. <laughs>